No, but to do uh, to do W and then come back and do Dan White, who is just drained of personality, right. for right from the hair on out, right. uh, the way he sits, the way he talks, and it's kind of what you would expect the Dan White character to be. Oh, um, yeah. oh and also just the way to, to play the repression and to play. I mean, he plays it. The you know the 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 story about Dan White, of course, is that Dan White is. I mean, the way that it's played in the movie is that he has a relationship with Harvey Milk that is unrequited or something not right about not satisfied in it, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and his uh, whole response to gayness is so repressed, uh, and uh, it's just very interesting to play that. It's a great set of things to be able to play all those mm -hmm, levels in mm -hmm, your mm -hmm. in the acting. So. And, just, and to be brave enough to do it, to 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 go there and not try to do something. You know, this is like Sean Penn. Right. Um, he's he's playing a gay character, and that and Harvey Milk was flamboyant. Yeah. And f to play that part without letting the flamboyance take over, to really have it be part of who he is, of the personality of the character, is such great acting. Oh no! And also, just also its effect as a movie. I mean, I, I it's, it. I think it is a mainstream movie. It has a mainstream ending. It mm -hmm. has a, a real payoff. It's got even cheesy music from Danny Elfman at the end. I mean, it's got the whole thing. It's good, good uh, Elfman, though. You're oh, it's composer, good Elfman, right? but oh, he's a tremendous. I love it. It's not Elfman. dark, man. It's not swirling all over the place. No, no, but I mean, it's it's the payoff <clears throat> music with mm -hmm, the you mm -hmm. know the soaring horn and the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but uh, uh, I think that as that its politi that its political social value is going to be that people will be able to see um, who don't have access to what kind of things could be happening in a gay relationship. They can see mm -hmm. a beautiful gay, a, se a series of beautiful gay relationships or interesting. And friendships. And friendships, but also the love mm -hmm. and also the attraction and all that stuff is very clear. Without the, the cliches. Oh, well, totally. I'm just yeah. honest. I mean, just, you know, straightforwardly yeah, yeah. And, and unique. But it's just, it's, it's a nice thing to be able to show. Uh, and it, I guess it is a brave thing, though. I don't think it's that brave anymore for somebody to, to for there to be on-screen kisses and all that stuff. I don't think. No, I, I guess maybe I'm just really uh, admire the way he threw himself into the part. Oh, totally. Uh, I, he know. just disappears, you know, and it's very hard for Sean Penn with his... Right, he's got a strong personality, or yeah. I guess. And it's, I mean, and it's just a very strong presence. For him to disappear into that part is I just stunning a thing to be able to do. Wow. Um, and also, we should also mention for people, you know, wondering whether they should see it, that it's not a typical biopic. It's, it, it blends uh, documentary footage beautifully. Right. There's a lot. Of, uh, <clears throat> and and par it's par part of it is that it's shot so that, can't, so that it can, so it's a little grainy, a little not nicely lit, mm -hmm. so that when mm -hmm. they get to the documentary stuff, it kind of can fit it's in. Fits, yeah. Um, there, are, there is one long shot that they shot that they somehow got. An entire street filled with cars from 19, <laughs> you know, 77. I couldn't even believe the shot. I mean, I, I, I wasn't painted in. I mentioned it to you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Wow, where did that shot come from? Right, right. But, uh, but yeah. So I mean, it's higher budget than it lets on. Let me put it like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't get to shut off a street of San Francisco and be able to shoot down from a bridge across an open an open area to an open street in the back and pack it with. Car, cars from 1977 without some dough. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, so, yeah. um, but uh, I thought the movie was really good. I thought about it a lot afterwards, actually. So, right, and, and to l allow somebody like Gus Van Zandt to do what he needs to do with this subject matter is real smart. Well, I, <coughs> I mean, I think he allows himself. I mean, he gets his own financing. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know what I don't the know, genesis know, of that is, but it could have, could have gone wrong in the hands oh, of sure. Clint Eastwood or Ron Howard. They no offense they, to them, but... They but, wouldn't but, take on this issue. I mean, this is an issue okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's right. Gus Van Zandt's, you know, issue. And, uh, and, it, and, it's, and it is very timely, and uh, I hope it has an impact. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope that, uh, that this particular ungood part of the culture wars are going to get as settled as it may be we're getting on the race issue. And allow... You know. A vast, you know, with an Academy Award nominations, let a large number of people see the human side right. of the gay issue nah, right. through great performance. Through yeah. great performance, an important and an important story. Yeah. Well, thanks, Sheldon. Appreciate You're it. Very welcome. Okay.
He has to get to class now. I have to go now. You know, he's always having to leave to go somewhere. So <laughs> thanks again. Right, we'll see you at the Coolidge. <laughs>